Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to the Fly With Us podcast. This podcast is bringing the art of conversation, self-love, self-care, mental health care and protection, life lessons, love lessons, and everything in between. Today, we're going to talk about Get Down With Reading. I'm your girl, Lady Bounce. And I am Pickett Fence. Today's Mindfulness Minute is called The Vehicle of All Possibilities. Knowing that all possibilities reside within the mind, I direct my thoughts towards peace and tranquility. Learning to master the mind, I lead my life into fullness and completion. All possibilities reside within the human mind. The hells are there, the heavens also. There are an infinite reaches of space and ground beneath our feet. In the mind are name and form and void also. In the mind are pleasure and delight self-denial and abstination. The mind races quicker than the fastest vehicle, moving in the slightest direction. The road to ruin, the road to ruin, to victory, lie within the mind. Whoever learns to control the mind can have anything. The person who does not control the mind will certainly be defeated. Here is a quick time notice how quickly your thoughts respond to suggestions. Like a loyal dog, your mind just wants to be helpful. It will follow any trail that you suggest. Give it a suggestion of peace and tranquility. Ask it to relax in this time and it will respond. Allow it to create the night sky with stars all around and sit there in the vastness of space. Word up. Word up. All right, so you have a special event coming up this weekend. The Gym City yes, Get indeed. Down. The Gym yes, City indeed. Get Down. Gym City Get Down. Coming July and, 9th. And there hasn't been a Get Down because of the panorama that we're in. The, mm-hmm. the paraffin bath or the pandemic, if you will. There hasn't or been one. Or plandemic, as some call Oh, the pandemic! I forgot about that. We gotta stay woke, stay woke, stay woke. Stay woke. So stay there woke. hasn't been one in three years. So yeah. what have you guys been doing for three years? Well, like most people, we've just been trying to survive. Um, we were off that time that everybody else was off. Um, Cooley Curator took that time to really build up his home studio. Um, so he was really working on that. Uh, Once people started creeping out, not really fully out yet, um, he started doing DJ gigs uh, at a numerous amount of places around town. Um, I pinned a new album, and that album is nearing completion. I was hoping August, September, but I think I'm going to hold off on that album to like October 31st, Halloween, since I released my last two albums on October 31st. So you're giving us treats instead of tricks. That's right, giving you treats instead of tricks. Um, So everybody's just been maintaining, I think. But during this time, uh, we learned a greater sense of community. And um, so this is a a real big deal for us because we were always about community. But we, during this time, we realized how much community can easily suffer. So, you know, it's going to be real good to get out there and do a big um, deed for our commu- our local community, which this, uh, like in all the other get downs, we donate to charity. And this time the charity is going to be the Polar Bear Book Swap, um, and which is like a free library set up in the Northridge area um, for kids to have access to books. So, you know, that's, you know, reading is fundamental. So, you know, we want to make sure that um, the youth have a chance to um, really expand their minds and reading is the way to do that. Okay, so I guess we I, I sort of jumped ahead. I'm so excited that we're, that there's going to be a get down. Can you tell the people what is a get down? What do I expect? Where is it at? What time? What do I need to wear? What do I what, what, what's the get down? So the Gym City get down first is a charity. Um, that we help out different either organizations or people throughout our community. Uh, Secondly, um, which is probably the more important thing, it's a party with a purpose. We like the party and it is what we would consider a traditional hip hop party. Um, You have 
DJs, which they're going to be three DJs, DJ Pluto, DJ Cooley, the curator and DJ Bishop Beezus. I am the host of the show. Um, we invite all elements of hip hop. So you'll see B boys and B girls there. You'll see graffiti artists. Now in the past, we were in a place that had graffiti. Um, this place is going to be blind Bob, so there won't be graffiti, but we're hoping that graffiti artists come out and, and anybody that respects and love traditional hip hop will be there. Um, so you'll see all the, like they say in the back in the day, all the fly guys and all the fly gals coming out. It's going to be a lot of dancing. It's going to be a lot of break beats, um, which is traditional to old school hip hop parties. And of course, there's going to be a ton of fun, love, peace and unity for everyone and music stretching across a, a, a broad amount of spectrum when it comes to hip hop culture. Okay, so let me ask you the, the elephant in the room question. You mentioned hip hop and the, the various elements of hip hop. Is it open mic? Is it rappers? Am I, what, what am I going to hear no, when I get there? You talked about no, the dope but, music, but what else? No, there there will not be not any rappers. on. Only rapper on stage, well, besides the DJs who also rap, um, okay. will be me, and I will be hosting the show. You never know if I drop a freestyle or not. I've been known to do that at some get downs. Um, the only person we've ever let get on stage is my man B Harvey. And he got up and did a sing along with one of the songs that was played. But usually we want people to stay off the stage, just dance, drink, have fun and enjoy this musical journey and enjoy what we consider an authentic hip hop party and, ex and experience hip hop culture that you don't usually see on the radio. I know when they you hear hip hop all day, the word hip hop all day on the radio, but those terms have been snatched and changed and are not authentic to hip hop culture, which are the elements, which are b-boying, DJing, uh, graffiti, you know, uh, knowledge, you know, and, and street fashion, you know, some of the, the basic elements. So we want to take it back to the days where like hip hop started, where like a DJ in a park, except we won't be in a park, uh, a host shouting out people, all the local celebrities come through, a host shouting out the dances that you might do, um, shouting out the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the good news, you know, if you will. Um, so okay. it's going to be a traditional and, and one thing, you know, people always request, but we would prefer if you didn't give any requests. What we want to do is take you on this musical journey and experience. Sit back, have a good time. Make sure you tip your bartender, have you some drinks and just vibe out. This party is a vibe. It is giving you a sense of hip hop culture. Mm. Well, I can say as somebody who who enjoys herself thoroughly at a get down that I am more than looking forward to a night of carefree, drama free, which is really, really important. And, and you didn't speak on it much, but I will. There is there is no drama at the get down. You're not going to see, you know, there's no fighting. There's no beefing. We literally are in a spot having a party with a purpose and just really having a genuine good time so correct um, typically you know people think about the oregon district and they think about you know trouble and drama at the different bars and whatnot but i can honestly say at the get down there's zero and i don't know correct. if that's just because uh because the vibe itself is so chill the music is is dope I, i'm not sure but i definitely enjoy that you know i enjoy being able to go out and really have a good time and not have to worry about you know something happening or some crazy fight breaking out like we've seen in some bars and you know spots in the city so you know that kudos to to you guys and, and i think the music plays a, a a big part in that because we know because we are musically inclined that you know music controls your chakras and it controls your bloodstream and so there isn't going to be any of that hip hop that you hear on the radio that gets you ready for fight night and and all that kind of stuff so i'm definitely looking forward to uh a party of your life as you guys have dubbed it you know it's I, the I think party of your life 
party yeah, it's definitely of the, your life. The, definitely the part of your life. Like I said, you'll hear break beats, you'll hear Afro funk, um, you'll hear Caribbean calypso, jazz, hip hop, all the things that formulated hip hop, the sound of hip hop. Um, you know, the JBs, James Brown, you know, the uh all the jazz legends, um, like I said, all the uh Latin and Caribbean drums that they have been sampled throughout hip hop. You'll hear all of that. And, and what you'll see is people getting to experience hip hop culture. Um, just talking to one of my um, protégés, Charlie, uh, Charlie Cash, who is a, a young artist in the area. And we talk a lot about that era of hip hop because he wasn't born. He was born like in, I think, 89, 90. Um, so he didn't get the, he wasn't living during the time of the beginning era of hip hop. So he, you know, he's always questioning me about that and, and, and he's real curious. And, and I'm, it, I'm real delighted that someone, you know, his age even asks questions about that. Um, Cause a lot of cats are just onto whatever they're onto, but he is definitely a student of hip hop because he's a, he's a, he's a rapper MC. And he is really intrigued by the essence of hip hop. Um, so for people who are intrigued by the essence of hip hop and its beginnings, this is a chance to uh, experience a piece of that. Okay. So is there, you know, you, you talked about, you know, your, your fellow MC that you're inviting in and he is actually going, is there an age limit to the gig? Am I... You know, how do you have to be to get in or how do you have to be to enjoy the evening? Uh, I lost you for a second. You broke up. What was that again? Just a question. Oh, I was saying, you know, is, is there an age limit or, you know, like what? what's the age? Is, is there an age requirement? Uh, what's too old? What's uh, too young? Um, well, I think to get in, you have to be 18 and up. Um, I don't think they've changed it to 21 and up. I still think it is 18. Um, but be safe. Let's just say 21 and up. But and I mean up, you could be 21 to 9,500 if, if people live that long. Um, but just to be safe, let's just say 21. Um, but if you're somebody my age that's, you know, 48, I'm going on 50 soon in a couple of years, a person that was born and the age of where hip hop was in its creation stages, um, this is something that you can enjoy if you love hip hop culture or are interested in hip hop culture or a student wanting to learn about hip hop culture. This is something that you will truly enjoy. If you're a person that's um, into dance and hip hop dance, I see a lot of times where um, you'll see dance studios or dance classes talk about hip hop dance. And I don't see any hip hop dancing. I don't see any hip hop dancing. I don't even know what it is that they're doing really. Um, I mean, I guess you could call it modern contemporary at best, but it's not hip hop dance. It's not hip hop dance at all. So if you really want to experience hip hop dance, I would say come to the Gym City Get Down. If you want to understand break beats, I would say come to the Gym City Get Down. If you want to understand MC, come to the Gym City Get Down. If you want to understand contributing to your community, come to the Gym City Get Down. And you, you mentioned that a lot with, with community being the focus of the event. Can you speak more about that? Like, why did you guys start the, the this Gym City Get Down? Like, how did it come about? Whose idea was it? Well, it was the inception of uh, Cooley the Curator and Bishop Beezus. They had actually started a group chat on Facebook called the Dayton Hip Hop Dialogue. And um, they had noticed and recognized that... Um, hip hop was kind of in a bad state as far as the way it was represented and talked about and perceived. And they wanted to um, really kind of get together minds, like minds, people who had been in hip hop culture for some time and see if there was something that could be done about it. And during this dialogue, of course, we've talked about different hip hop things, the essence of hip hop and hip hop nature and where hip hop is and where it was going. They reached out to a lot of elder uh, hip hop folks like myself. And, and also with that, they wanted to do something that could help their community because they were 
great, great lovers of our city. You always see how people talk about how bad their city is, mm -hmm. um, how they want to leave this city, how they want to get out of here, how it sucks, how it's nothing to ever do. And they wanted to change the mind state with that. So they brought the idea to the guys like myself that were in a date and hip hop dialogue and being an um, a elder person in the hip hop culture of date. And they asked me if I wanted to host. And I said, of course I do. And so we, like I said, they all, one of the things is they want to focus on read the, read the, stabilizing the image of hip hop, that it wasn't what you just hear on the radio. That hip hop, when you think about organizations like the Zulu Nation where they stopped gang violence and they battled in dance. Um, and people that were in the Zulu Nation, which we were members of the Zulu Nations at one time, years after the get down started, um, that being a member of the Zulu Nation, it was about you had to do things that were beneficial to your community. And like I said, we were doing this before we were a part of the Zulu Nation. And that, and that was because of them. And they just said that they wanted to show people that hip hop isn't just guns and violence and negativity. And that's why we call it a party with a purpose, because we party, we have fun, we like to kick it, we like rap music, we like to have our get our drink on, um, but we also love our city and we love the citizens of our city and we love our community and we want to be beneficial to our community. So, you know, and you, you talked about, uh, you know, giving back to the community. What, what does that mean? Like, I know people pay $5 to get in but then what? So I pay $5, I get into this party. What happens to my money? So every get down since the beginning, we've either donated to um, a cause like Kiva.org, which they give micro loans to people all across the world to establish businesses that are beneficial to their communities, wherever they are in the world. Um, we've also, also given donations to like people that we've seen on the news. It was a family that um, lost their house in a fire. We gave all the money to them. Uh, there was a situation where a girl was hit walking to work and was actually um, in a wheelchair for a while and couldn't go to work. So we donated all the money to her. There was a young man who was suffering from a rare um, blood disorder. And of course, medical expenses are very expensive. So we donate to him. There is a community center called El Puente, which is a, a Latin American based community center for Latin American immigrants. Um, we donated to them. We've donated to Eastside Community Center, which is a community center on the east side of our uh, city. We've uh, donated to Soul Love, which is an organization that do several different things. They do um, hashtag lunch uh, was hashtag lunch bag where they make they they make lunches for homeless people. They also do uh, toy drives and things like that and sock drives for the homeless. Um, so that's that's one big thing we would love to do is donate to organizations that are already established just that just need a kick and doing the things that they're already doing. So um, we don't keep any of the money. We just come to get down. And in getting so, down, we're able to help our community. So speak on that for a second. When you say you don't keep any of the money, that in itself is changing the the view of hip hop. Because yeah, definitely. most hip hop that, I won't say most, the modern day hip hop that you hear on the radio and see on TV and your TikTok videos and everything, it's very braggadocious. It's very, it's all about me. How much money can I get? put this money in my mm -hmm. pocket, buy this, buy that. So just in the simple fact that you said you guys don't keep any of the money is a huge 180 compared to traditional uh, modern hip hop. So that, that, is stuff, that that's just real dope. Word up. And I mean, it, it's nothing wrong with being braggadocious. I'm a braggadocious MC, but my braggadocious isn't about what I have. My braggadocious is about I can really rap. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, a, I'm a great rapper. Um, You're a great rapper. I'm a great, great rapper. <laughs> so, uh, but to each his own anyway. But yeah, we wanted to definitely make sure that we, the people know that we are uh, community-based dudes. We love Dayton. 
You know, a lot of people hate the city and we love Dayton. Dayton is our city. You, you, if, if you're a fan of the Dayton Flyers, you might see us at a UD game. Um, if you're a fan of local taverns and bars, you definitely probably see us at the Barrel House. That is one of our favorite drinking holes. They are family to us. Um, you have a residency at the Barrel House. Cooley, the curator, has a res residency at the Barrel House. Um, the place we're having to get down, Blind Bob's, we were staples at Blind Bob's every Sunday for years um, before we went to the studio every Sunday. Um, so we we love this city and we want to re-change the thought the way people think about pop and the way people locally think about their city. Stop hating on the place that you're from. You should be grateful right. and thankful of that. I love that. DYT for, forever. DYT forever. For 937 used to be 513. People don't used to be five. Yeah, used to be 513. You know, people don't even but we know was, that. We were so dope, we needed our own area code. We couldn't share it with Cincinnati anymore. You heard? You heard. I like it. You know, so, okay, you know, so... We... go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say that, you know, that we really want to show people that uh, Dayton is a great town and people always say there's nothing to do here. You just don't want to do anything that's um, positive and intelligent. There's always something to do here. And, and, and if you haven't, figured out what to do here come to the gym city get down july knife and you'll see something that's to, to do here okay 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 i like it okay so i was something else i wanted to ask you about to get down oh shoot i don't know i, th I think you pretty much covered everything so it's a blind bobs july blind 9th. Bob, july 9 4 30 east 5th street in the oregon district Okay, in At Oregon 10, district. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Cost is five dollars. Yeah, five dollars to get in, five dollar holler. All uh, of that five dollars goes to charity. And I know you got five dollars. You'll spend five dollars on some whack McDonald's or whack Wendy's, wait in line at Wendy's for 20 minutes for that nasty Wendy's and spend probably 12, 13 dollars. Five dollars. And not only do you have the party of your life, but you're helping your community. And, you know, one of the, the other things that I, I just thought about when you when you said that, it, it made me think about, um, you know, as, as host of the Get Down, throughout the night, you you do announce how much money has been collected, you know, from, from the door. And one of the things that I, I, I love the most about, you know, when you get on the mic and say 1130 and you say, hey, we've raised $150, and then people go in their pockets and just start throwing more money in the pot because you, yeah. you know, you, you really hammer in the idea that all of it goes to charity. You guys don't keep any of it. You don't get paid. This isn't a tax write off for you guys or, or no, this like isn't that. a 5013 CBHTF or whatever you call those, you know, tax free donations. This is real people, real right. MCs real citizens of the city just trying to do our best to take care of the city for the simple fact that we want our city to flourish right. and we want the people to flourish because if we're all in a better state of mind and and position then we're in a safer environment and so on and so on and and as you mentioned before this particular uh get down the proceeds are going for the polar bear book swap which you said is a a free community library in the northridge area which if you know anything about the northridge area there are three major um low income housing i don't want to say projects i hate that word but there are three low income community housing areas in that area so these mm -hmm. are our kids these this money and these books are going to kids who don't have any other means of access for you know good books so that that's really right. important so i'm definitely hoping that you know that people show up and show out and then when you start you know announcing how much money there is people go in the pocket and donate more donate heavy if you can read a book thank a teacher if you can read a book give a book mm -hmm. to another kid and maybe just maybe this thing will start to grow you know even bigger and the other thing about this free library is that sometimes the kids are allowed to just have the books that they don't have to return them. 
So, right. you know, I think that's important. Those, you know, and, and as they give away books, they have to be replaced. So, you know, as a community, let's come out, let's help these kids get some good books in their hands. Culturally relevant books are important. Just picture books. I mean, if you got books laying around, you can probably contact the founder and owner and and get with her and, and give her those books. So we'll make sure that we list her contact information somewhere, you know, in the comments. So if you can get with her, if you got books just to donate, we'll take that too. Yeah, and definitely for those people that don't know, I did grow up in one of those housing communities. Um, I'm not afraid to say we do call it the projects. Uh, Northland Village is where I grew up. And um, one of the things I noticed is that I, I didn't like reading as a kid. I think that because books that were culturally relevant, relevant to me were not accessible. Um, you know, we were reading stuff like Old Yeller in school and I, I don't even like dogs. So that <laughs> that book wasn't relevant to me and it wasn't interesting to me. And I think it's really important to help kids start reading and get interested in reading is to having books that are relevant to their backgrounds and their cultural backgrounds, their financial backgrounds, and, and just things that, that they're interested in. And um, so I think that's really important because a lot of kids don't get to make a trip to the library. Um, the bookmobile isn't around like how it used to be. I can't remember the last time I saw a bookmobile. Um, and that was pre-pandemic. So um, I think that this is a good cause. Um, like I said, I'm from that area. And, and I know how hard it was growing up in that area. Um, I didn't get into reading until I was in college. So I think the earlier the kids have access to books that are rev relevant to them, it's going to be a win for all of us. Okay. So what's our self-care assignment this week besides come to the get down? What's our self-care assignment? That's the main thing is, is come to the gym city. Get That's your self-care because you're going to love yourself when you get there. Secondly, the self-care assignment is find a good book to read. And after you read it, share that book with a friend. Now let's okay. get into my favorite part of the show. Doom, 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 doom. Brain science, 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 science. All right. So to keep it with the theme of what we're talking about, which is it's getting down with reading, getting down with a good cause. I'm going to talk about how reading to young children develops their brains. Ever notice how children seem to light up when you read to them? Maybe what you're seeing is neurons firing as you stimulate their brains. Reading a variety of books to children on a frequent basis sparks physical activity in the brain. It literally activates section of, sections of the brain that process words and form meaning. A study from the American Academy of Pediatrics used MRI scans to track activity in preschoolers' brains while they were listening to stories via headphones. The researchers saw greater activity in the sections of the brain that visualize a spoken story and extract meaning from language. You're never too old or too young to be read to. The easiest way to do that is to make reading a part of your bedtime routine. Kids and schedules can become crazy, but they always have to go to bed eventually and you can read to them then. Make it a group activity. You read a page, let them read a page. You read a sentence, let them read a sentence. 90% of brain development occurs between birth and age five. As a brain develops, its neural pathways are formed in sequence, sensory pathways first, then language, and finally, higher cognitive pathways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reading regularly with young children stimulates optimal patterns of brain development, which helps build strong pathways in the brain and in turn builds language, literacy, and social emotional skills that can have lifelong health benefits. For more resources on reading to a kid, you can visit a library, talk to a doctor, talk to a teacher, talk to your, your friends who have children and get some good book recommendations. And you're never too old to be silly and do voices when you read the book, you know, really get into the story, change character voices, Kids love that kind of stuff. When you do that, you're creating lifelong learners and lifelong readers, and that can't be beat. Word up. Well, that's Word. our show for this week. You know, you can find us anywhere you find your favorite podcast, and you'll definitely find us at the Gym City Get Down next Saturday, 430 East 5th Street at Blind Bob's Getting Down for a Purpose.
It's your boy Pick a Fence. And I'm your girl Lady Bounce. We out of here. Peace. Peace.